You know, God gave me something this morning that I want to pass on to you. But first, let's read my prayers that come out of Ephesians, the first chapter and the 15th verse. It's Paul's prayers for the Ephesians. I've adopted them as my prayers for the entire world that our eyes, that your eyes would be opened. Oh, to God's love, his mercy, his grace, his goodness, his wisdom, and his strength. I pray God opens your eyes to those things, but most of all, to his love. Ephesians first chapter in the 15th verse says, Ever since I first heard of your strong faith, In the Lord Jesus and your love for God's people everywhere, I have not stopped thanking God for you. I pray for you constantly, asking God, the glorious Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, to give you spiritual wisdom and insight so that you might grow in your knowledge of God. I pray that your hearts will be flooded with light so that you can understand the confident hope he has given to those he called, his holy people who are his rich and glorious inheritance. I also pray that you will understand the incredible greatness of God's power for us who believe him. This is the same mighty power that raised Christ from the dead and seated him in the place of honor at God's right hand in the heavenly realms. Now he is far above any rule or authority or power or leader or anything else, not only in this world, but also in the world to come. God has put all things under the authority of Christ and has made him head over all things for the benefit of the church, and the church is his body. It is made full and complete by Christ who fills all things everywhere with himself. When I think of all this, I fall to my knees. This is Ephesians 3.14. It says, When I think of all this, I fall to my knees and pray to the Father, the creator of everything in heaven and on earth. I pray that from his glorious unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength through his spirit. Then Christ will make his home in your hearts. As you trust in him, your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. And you may have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep his love is. May you experience the love of Christ, though it is too great to understand fully. Then you will be made complete with the fullness of life and power that comes from God. Now all glory to God who is able through his mighty power at work within us to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. Glory to him in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations forever and ever. I pray this in Jesus name. Amen. Those are my prayers for you. And I thank God that God has heard my prayers. I thank God that he opened my eyes to this truth of his love, his goodness, his grace, his mercy, his strength. Oh, and I thank God that I, I, I know now that God's not a tyrant out to get me when I mess up, but he's a loving father that stands with open arms waiting for us all to come home. I thank God I found my way home. And I pray that you find the same today, that you come to understand how much God loves you today. Now let's see what God's Word has to say. Father, I thank you and I praise you, oh, for your Word, for your goodness, your grace, your mercy. Oh, I thank you for the truth in your word that I can stand on it and be confident in what it says, that what it says for me and what it says for every person that walks the face of this earth. Touch my mind. Holy Spirit, touch my mind. Touch my mouth. Use me that I might glorify a risen Savior, that I might glorify my Father in heaven that loves me and loves the people of this world. 
Oh, I thank God for that opportunity, this opportunity today to preach his word, to teach God's goodness and provoke people. Go to look to him and be guided and directed by his precious Holy Spirit. Lord, I pray for the partners of this ministry. I pray that you'd touch them, bless them a hundredfold return, according to Mark 10, 29 and 30. Uh, for all the finances they say they sow into this ministry to see your word being taught all over this nation and all over this world to glorify our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to give people hope, to allow them to understand and to know, to teach them that you're not a tyrant, but a loving Father that stands waiting for them to come home. Glory to your name today. In Jesus' holy name I pray. Amen and amen. My scripture today comes out of Psalms. It's the, in the, the 119th Psalm and the 105th verse. It says, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I've got, a, I've got news for you today. If you want to shed light on something, use God's light, and that is his word. Glory to God. <laughs> I want to read that again. Thy word. The psalmist wanted God to understand that. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I want to read that in the New Living Translation. Psalms 119, 105. Your word is a lamp to guide my feet and a light for my path. You know, I've, we used to, my son and I and, and a good friend of ours, we used to coon hunt. And uh, of a night, a lot of times, Taylor was just little. And we'd be walking through the woods and I'd just turn my, if the moon was good and bright, I'd turn my light off. You could see everything in the woods just by the light that was was shining from the moon. You know that, but that light is reflect that the moonlight is a reflection of the sun that you can't see. And and what I want you to understand today that God's word, God's word, is a direct reflection of Him, of Him. And, and, and God's word is him talking to you. And when you, when you can look at God's word and read God's word, like God is speaking to you, you talking about illuminating some dark spots in your life that you had no idea, had no idea how to interpret those those things or how to understand those things. If you will get into God's word and allow him to speak to you. See, it's like going into a dark closet with a little light. And 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 that light, I promise you, wherever you shine it, it's going to dispel the darkness, expel the darkness. It's going to get rid of that darkness. Now, I promise you, if there's places in your life that you're needing some guidance and understanding, wisdom on, apply God's Word to those places. Get into God's Word and start start seeking Him. Start finding Him. Start trying to, to say, Lord, what would you have me? To do what would you have me to read in your word that applies to this to this book to this situation that I'm 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 dealing with today? You know I've often talked about it and I've used it I've used it a lot. You know we live a we live in a world of technology now that I wished I had the technology that I have now twenty five thirty years ago. But I use my phone, and, and I use the, the voice recognition of my phone a lot. And I'll tell my phone uh, to Google something, 
And if I'm needing to hear, um, if I'm needing to find God's word in, on, on something, I'll give them just a little bit of that of that scripture, and 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 my phone can point me to the right direction. I use it for God's glory to find what God's word says about the situation that I'm going through. I have I have done this for years now, and and. It thrills me to know that I carry in my pocket a tool that I can use to strengthen my spirit man. And and it has the the word of God in it. I've told you about you version. I I I I put you version on my phone and if I need to read the, the word, if I need to find something in the word, it's right there. I mean, there's no reason whatsoever anymore to be without the Word of God at all times. Are you talking about light? If you want light, you can find light, and you can shed light on the dark spots in your, in your life with the Word of God, because that is God's light. It is His Word. The psalmist said it, Thy Word is is a lamp unto my feet. If you've got light shining around you where you can see where you're walking, you'll never stumble. That's God's light. That's God's light that he wants to shed in your life, in your, in your, in your situation, in the things of your, in, in you, that around you that you need to see. A lot of times we go through life and staggering around and 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 trying our best to to know what to do, how to do it, when to do it, and it's it's a stumbling block over and over and over again. Why? Because we're not shining God's light on that situation. We're not shedding God's light on the situation in our life that we need to, that we need to hear, that we need to see what is going on around us. That's what God's light's for. That's what God's Word is for, to shed light on a uh, situation that you're having to deal with. And you feel like you're dealing with it on your own. But I assure you, God wants to be a big part of that situation. How's He going to be a big part of it? How is he going to do it? He's going to do it through his word, through his Holy Spirit guiding you through that written word, that word that is speaking to you, that word that speaks to every person that walks on the face of this earth. God's word is put here for a reason, and that's to shine light into this lost and dying world and give people hope. That's what I've set out to do every day on this podcast that this podcast is broadcast is to give people hope. Hope in what? Hope in something that's a sure thing. You know, (laughs) I, I, I I can't emphasize enough of, of what God wants us to see and understand, that if you believe his word and stand on it as truth, regardless of what you see, you can come to a conclusion in your life that, you, that, that God will make a way where there seems to be no way. He will make a way where there seems to be no way. And I promise you, if you'll listen if you'll listen and try to understand what he wants you to see, it, I promise you, it'll, it'll, he'll show you. He'll show you what he's wanting you to see if you'll just apply yourself and start believing what you're reading and start, a, start looking at that situation in your life like God's going to take care of this situation in my life. How's he going to do it? He's going to do it through guidance, through his word. He's going to do it, and it may not be even in your in your uh, realm. It may be through his word in somebody else's life to point them in a the direction to come and, and, and assist you with something, uh, come to help you in some way with something. 
People, I've got news for you today. God is working on your behalf. And if you get in his word, he can shine light into your life that you thought never, you could never figure out what happened. You know, our pastor was talking about it. Our our pastor's wife talked about uh, what she had heard uh, another preacher talk about said 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 somewhere you know if you if you get to where you don't understand things and then somewhere years maybe years down the road the Lord will show you something that you say aha I understand I understand now what what I missed years before in the same scripture that you've read ten thousand times there's always something new to read in God's Word. You may say, well, I've read it over and over and over again. Keep reading it. I promise you, because God can show you things in His Word today that 10 years ago that you you never even would have thought of. Allow God to shine light. That is God's light. It is His Word. And I promise you, you're not going to stumble when you've got God's light turned on in your life. When you ke- when you continually put God's word into your life, it'll it'll, it'll illuminate your world that you won't. You'll see every trap that Satan throws for you, throws around you that he's set in front of you, waiting on you to stumble and stagger. He, you'll see it. Why? Because God's word has shed a light on it. Listen to me today. Allow God to put in your life what you need. And that's his light. It's his word. You may say, well, you know, I'm lost. I don't have a clue about what you're talking about. I I do not know what you're talking about. Well, salvation is for all men. And I promise you, God's no respecter of person. What he's done for me, he will do for you. What he done for, oh, the patriarchs of the Bible, he will do for each and every one of us. Jesus Christ came to die on the cross for your sins. He died a sinner's death, innocent of all charges. I want you to understand something today. God loves you. He cares for you, and he wants more than anything to see you turn to him. Romans 10 and 9 said, If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thy heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made into salvation. Be born again today. Allow God's word to to permeate your heart. Allow God's word to lighten your path and and enlighten the things in your life that just that you think good night there's no answer for these problems. There's no there, there's no overcoming these problems, I assure you. I assure you, God has a God has a plan for your life just like he did mine. And he will make it clear to you, crystal clear, with, with, with no darkness around it, if you'll just look to him. Be born again today. Get in his word and let him, let him enlighten you on things that, that needs to be done in your life. Glory to God. He'll be, he'll be as real in your life as you'll allow him to be. Allow Jesus Christ to be Lord of your life. Allow him, his word, to come into your heart and guide you and direct you in every, in every step that you take. Oh, I promise you, if you'll allow God to do that in your life, you'll see your life change where you thought you could never overcome things in your life. Ask me how I know. Jesus is my best friend, my Lord, my Savior, my God, my comforter, my help. And he will be that for you today if you'll allow him to. Make Jesus Lord of your life today. If you're listening to this podcast, go to our website. It's the-prodigalson.com. 
You know, when I, when I really got turned on to what God's Word was saying to me and for me, it changed my life. When I come to understand and come to the realization that I could believe God's Word, could believe God's Word above, above, and, above and beyond anything man said, that anything that I thought I could, I, you know, that, I, you know, my own feeble mind could come up with, that I could believe God's Word over everything. All my, my carnal ways of thinking and, and, and my feelings, that I could believe God's Word above and beyond that. When I, when I started doing that, I started getting confidence, not in myself, not in my goodness, but in His goodness. And what he could do in my life. Oh, it thrills me to know that. It thrills me to be able to tell you that he'll do that for you. Make God, make God's word the guide and the light that he wants to be in your life. Glory to God in the highest. Go to our website. It's the-prodigalson.com. I want to thank all the partners of this ministry. I want to thank you for sowing your finances into the kingdom of God to see God's word go out and be a blessing to someone, to be a help to someone, to encourage someone when they're downtrodden and and just beat down by what this world has thrown at them. I assure you that's our desire today is to put God's word out Put, it, put his word out to help people. And you're a part of that. You're a part of that. Your finances that you sow into this ministry goes toward furthering God's kingdom, building God's kingdom to show people the goodness of God, that God is a good God. He loves them and he cares for them. That's what we, are, we, we desire to do every day of just showing people how good our God is. And how much he loves them. How much he loves this world. He went to a lot of trouble to give us his word. And it's my, it's my earnest desire to see his word go out. Undefiled by the word, world. But just give them the word of God. And teach them that they can believe it above all opinion. Bless you. God bless you a hundredfold according to Mark 10, 29 and 30 for what you have given up for the, to the, for the furtherance of God's kingdom. Go to our website. Get in touch with us. It's the-prodigalson.com.